Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank the organizing committee of the International LDLT Group to invite me to give this talk to talk about extended HCC inclusion criteria from the Eastern perspective. So this is the classical metro ticket model. When we talked about extended criteria, we are taking the Milan criteria as a reference. And as we all know, if we extend the criteria be further away from the Milan criteria, then the long-term outcomes would be compromised. And with the metro ticket model two, the updated model, they use they incorporated alpha free to protein level together with tumor burden into the criteria. And it became more complex because if, you, if we imagine a patient with solitary XCC of six centimeters, then the outcomes of the transplant could range from over 90% in patients with normal alpha fetoprotein to less than 50% in patients with alpha fetoprotein more than 1,000. So to most of the Eastern centers, because most we, we mostly we were using LDLT um, for XCC patients, the Milan criteria is too restrictive. And the disease spectrum beyond the Milan and the outcomes of these patients are highly variable. It could range from a solitary tumor of 5.1 centimeters to a multifocal XCC with partnering tumor fungus. And the Milan criteria is also a radiological criteria based on tumor numbers and tumor size only, and is cross-sectional. 